welcome back to another episode of Bollywood Buzz with me, Nikki, where I'm going to bring to you the latest and the most happening information happening in Bollywood. So the bad boy of Bollywood is in trouble one more time, but this time it's not in the courts as of yet. He made some really degrading comments about women and the media is not having it. Khan made the comments in an interview to promote his latest Bollywood movie, Sultan, which tells the story of an aging wrestler trying to make a comeback. When I used to walk out of the ring after the shoot, I used to feel like a raped woman. I couldn't walk straight, 50-year-old Khan said in an interview with local news. India's National Commission for Women demanded a public apology, calling the comments reprehensible, following an outcry on social media. It's not only a wrong statement, it's very irresponsible and callous. For a man whose fame and wealth is based on the adoration of his female fans, the head of NCW, Lalitha Kumara Mangalam, told the Press Trust of India news agency. The Bollywood star also said he had been able to quit every vice except women, giving up cigarettes, coffee and alcohol but not female company. His father, Bollywood lyricist Salim Khan, took to Twitter to apologize on his son's behalf but insisted that the intention behind the comments was not wrong. We have still not heard anything from Salman Khan himself, however, his father did take to Twitter and apologize on his behalf, and we have been hearing a lot of outcry from all of his fans that are very angry about his remarks. Also, a lot of Bollywood celebrities like Anurag Kashyap tweeting at him and very angry about his comments. The incredibly beautiful and talented Nagin actress Moni Roy will be making her Bollywood debut very soon, and we cannot wait. According to reports, the tally girl Nagin will soon be starring as a female lead in Bijoy Nambiar's Tamil remake of Mani Ratnam's 1988 blockbuster Agni Nachathiram. Reportedly, the yet untitled remake stars Sanam Terikasam famed Harshvardhan Rane and Masan famed Vicky Koshal. Agni Nachathiram is an action thrill and revolves around the relationship of two stepbrothers. Moni is on top of her game on TV. Her serial Nagin is the number one TRP rated show in Indian television currently. Her beauty and her style can lead to success in Bollywood as well, but we have to wait and see for that. Until then, good luck to Nagin Moni Roy. Moni Roy is already incredibly successful in the TV screen with Nach Balie, with her show Nagin and now she's going to make a Bollywood debut and we cannot wait for it and we wish her all the very best. After her so-called husband Vicky Goswami was named drug pin of the drug cartel, Mamta Kulkarni might face some legal troubles with the police. Police had called her husband, Vicky Goswami, as the kingpin of international drug cartel. According to the new evidences, Mamta Kulkarni is now also an accused. We will send a request to Interpol for red corner notice against Mamta Kulkarni through CBI. We are verifying her bank accounts and investments. Her husband, Vicky Goswami, is already an accused, said Paramvir Singh from Thane Police. Thane Police has seized a total of 18.5 ton of ephedrine and 2.5 ton of acetic anhydride in last week of April. During the investigation, it was found that Vicky Goswami was the alleged kingpin of the racket. Goswami is currently out on bail in a case where he was arrested by Kenyan police officials. He will soon be extradited from Kenya. Goswami alleged that the U.S. was pressuring India to extradite him and since he's afraid that America's Drug Enforcement Administration may kidnap him, he will not come back to India. Goswami also claimed that Kulkarni was just a well-wisher and not his wife. We would really like to believe that Mamta Kulkarni is in fact not his wife and just a well-wisher. However, we never know and we just hope that everything turns out well for the both of them. So Priyanka Chopra is a singer, an actress. She can do anything and now she's giving it back to all the trolls that have been trolling her for her armpit on the internet. Priyanka, who has gained global recognition with her stint in the American TV show Quantico, is the latest Bollywood celebrity to be trolled for her armpits, being airbrushed for a magazine cover shoot. 
The Mary Calm star shared a photograph of herself on Instagram where she can be seen standing near a window looking relaxed with her hands outstretched above her head. Here is another pit-stopping picture to add to the debate. Will the real armpit please stand up? No filter. Armpit Diaries, the 33-year-old actress, captioned the image that she posted on Tuesday night. On the work front, Priyanka will next be seen starring in the international movie Baywatch, along with Hollywood stars like Dwayne Johnson and Zac Efron. She will be seen playing a negative character named Victoria Leeds in the film. When you're a celebrity and a celebrity as big as Priyanka Chopra, almost anything you do will be talked about, and even your armpits in this case. Salman Khan's girlfriend, Yulia Ventur, is having a problem with Daisy Shaw. Daisy Shaw is a very close friend of the Khan's, and Yulia Ventur is not very happy. And although they did have drama going on, Yulia Ventur has now posted a picture, which is a little bit questionable because she might be getting back to Daisy Shaw. There were even reports how Daisy and Yulia have had several arguments about the same in the recent past. Although Daisy, in her exclusive interaction, clarified that there's no truth to the story, but one look at Elia's recent Insta picture and you will be rest assured that something is definitely pissing Elia right now. Yes. Elia just put up the selfie, but it's the caption that gives a bigger story. It reads, when you check your look in the mirror, take a minute to check yourself. Whatever we do or say is there. Hashtag reflected in the mirror, hashtag yourself, hashtag what goes around comes around. Deep meaning, right? We wouldn't be surprised if she is actually taunting at Daisy with this one. Because for all that you know, not once did Daisy speak in favor of Yulia in her interview. In fact, she went on to clarify, I am not her friend. So, it doesn't really matter if she's there or not. I am Salman's friend. He means a lot to me. His family means a lot to me. And again, I give her due respect because she is my friend's friend. So that acknowledgement is there. But I really don't know anything about her. She has been introduced as Salman's friend and that's all I know about her. So will this new feud between his lover and his friend cause some problems with either of them? We'll just have to wait and find out because Salman is really close to Daisy. However, he is dating Yulia and both of his ladies are arguing. So we don't know what problems it's going to cause. However, we wish them all the best. And now we have reached the end of this episode for Bollywood Buzz. But I'm Nikki and make sure you check us out on YouTube, also our social media. We have a Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So go and follow us and go and check out all of our videos. Until next time, I'll see you on Bollywood Buzz.